Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. As you can probably notice, there is a change of scenery here as we're back in Canada since two days. But before jumping into today's video, we just want to say thank you for our 100 subscribers on YouTube. We uh, hit the milestone last week and it's just, it gives us motivation to sh continue making videos. Just thank you for being here. Without further ado, um, let's explain the project why we're here, why we're back in Canada so quickly. Our original plan was to stay in Mexico a few more months, then go to Guatemala. But I had a phone call with my bus around two and a half weeks ago. So when we first arrived in Mexico, I was working for a restaurant in Quebec City, doing administrative work, uh, reviewing contracts, things like that. Um, and then they offered me a job as a restaurant director back in Quebec City, starting this summer. But that would mean I would have to go back to Quebec City, right? Uh, so it was really interesting because it's like new challenges, uh, a lot of new things I'll have to learn like managing social media, things like that which I really like and I already do with like our project. So I was really interested but didn't want to um, abandon our, our life as nomads. So I asked them would you be interested in me going back to Quebec City this summer but then traveling again when it's like not high season, right? Um, and they were uh, really interested as well. So basically it means that from June through September, we'll be in Quebec City, uh, which will be just like another travel destination for us because we're, we're still gonna live in our backpacks. We're gonna stay in a fully furnished apartment and just gonna keep our backpacks. So we're not gonna buy anything more. We're just gonna keep what we have. Uh, we lo love the simple life that we have with not much stuff, so we're gonna keep that lifestyle even when we're over there. Exactly. In October, I'll start working remotely again, and then we can travel again for we don't know <clears throat> how long. But the plan, as, as of now, and I mean, it can always change because it's new for them and it's new for me as well, but it, we see it as an evolving job position, which means that maybe uh, starting in 2022, I can be fully remote again and then tra we can travel uh, full time but I'll have a stable income and be more financially secure whereas before I'm, I had like a contract position so some weeks I would work a lot and other I would work not at all or almost not so much yeah, yeah not so much so it was always kind of a struggle because I mean Mexico was really cheap so it was fine but I was starting to think, you know, if we go to Costa Rica or like countries that are more expensive. Like if we ever want to go to Europe. Yeah, Europe, yeah. which is a lot more expensive. I would be, it would be too un unstable for me to keep mm -hmm. this job only and travel full time. Whereas if we go back now for the summer, then we'll be able to travel again, probably full time, but I'll have a, a final financially stable job. Indeed. So we, we just see it as a step in the same direction as we want to be digital nomads as we already are, but we want to, you know, we're making tests like every travel, every step is a test. And this is definitely, Mexico has been a, a very good learning experience for us. I mean, just traveling together. It's the first time we ever traveled together, uh, but also learning how to manage our finances and see like, what are the different, what are the prices for different things? And just, yeah, just making sure that we're, we're happy with what we have and we live a fulfilling life and we did feel the kind of the lack of money being a stress uh, like we were never short but always close to short mm -hmm. so we just want to make our financial uh, situation more stable before we can travel again and if we can travel while working full-time it's even better because we can just yeah do everything we want everywhere because mm -hmm. the goal is to travel for as long as we can and we see it more as a way to travel more sustainably and just full time. So it's really just another travel destination for the summer. And also we were already kind of thinking of going back to Quebec for the summer for two or three months because we wanted to see our family. Yeah, definitely. Like we, for us, the best time is to go back and see family is during the summer. I mean, okay, so let's say there's no pandemic. So during the summer and then during Christmas so we can see everyone because the pandemic is going to stop one day. I'm sure, <laughs> pretty sure. That's that's pretty much the whole the whole thing. Uh, we're going to stay in Quebec City for the next four months. We're well, uh, going to see national parks, going to see families. So we'll see 
some content there. We're gonna slow down the content a little bit just during the summer uh, because we do have both have a full-time job and we don't have a weekend together. We only, we're gonna have like one day of weekend together. So we're gonna film a little bit, but maybe one post a month or every three weeks, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna slow down a little bit, but as soon as we travel again, it's gonna come back to uh, every week a new video because we'll yeah. have more interesting content to show inside instead of just us working. Yeah, and also we're, we're still gonna post on Instagram and Facebook pretty much daily. Yeah. So if you want to follow our daily lives, anytime we'll do an activity in Quebec, we'll post it on Instagram, our stories and on our feed posts. So yeah. make sure to follow us on there. Yeah. We have some footage to share today. It's not just us talking uh, by the mm -hmm. river. Um, so. We're gonna uh, bring you through our journey from uh, Puerto Escondido, where we learned the news and and packing our stuff and making sure that we that we have everything we need to go back home. Uh, it was uh, kind of stopped uh, for about two weeks because my dad came to Tulum, so we met him there, spent a week there, and then yeah, so we're here now. We'll show you the whole footage. So during the the week in Cancun and the week in Tulum, we worked and we also just wanted to enjoyed our last few days in Mexico and our time with uh, Matt's dad. So we didn't film much. We'll show you the little footage that we took. Yeah. Um, and yeah, also the footage going back to Canada. Okay, so I'm not a reliable source of actual information. If you want to get the actual information, go on Canada's government website. We can link it down below if you ever need information. But, so what was the requirements when we were there um, was to have a negative COVID test, so PCR that dated from a maximum of three days before you're, you're getting on the plane. And then as soon as you get there, you have to take a test as well, and it has to be negative. But while you wait for your test, you sit in a hotel that you, you have to pay for three days up in advance. Um, and as soon as you have a test, you can leave. Some hotels give you your money back for the days you haven't stayed, and some hotels don't, so you have to choose them carefully. Uh, after that, you still have to do the 14 days of quarantine, uh, and that's that including the time you spent at the hotel. Uh, and you had to be uh, in a safe space where you can easily be at least two meters or a safe distance from everyone so you don't contaminate anyone. Yeah. After eight days, someone from Pure Later or another delivery company uh, brings you a PCR test you have to do right now, and then you have to wait for the results of your test for it to be negative before you can stop quarantining. The Pure Later thing is only if you cross the border by uh, car. If you cross the border by air, oh, true. they give you your tests uh, at, the at the airport. Immigration. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You just leave your, with your box. And as of right Right now, even vaccinated people have to take the test, the hotel, and have to quarantine. Exactly. The only way to skip the hotel and the post-border test is if you show documentation of recovery from COVID-19. Exactly. So from 14 days to 90 days, if you have a positive test that dated 14 days before your plane um, or, or border entry or anywhere, um, you don't have to do the hotel but you, nor the tests, but you have to quarantine for 14 days as well. Yeah. So right now we're at our place of quarantine. As you can see, it is really beautiful. We're so lucky to be here. Uh, yeah. So that's where we'll stay uh, for the next... Uh, At my mom's. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where we'll stay for the next uh, two weeks. When I accepted the job position, we thought we, we had to come back that exact weekend and we were, I think, Thursday or Friday. So we had to take a bus from Puerto Escondido to Huatulco because our flight was go from Huatulco to Mexico City. So we were, it was about, I don't know, maybe 6 p.m. and the bus was leaving at 8. So we had two hours to book the bus and pack everything. So it was really <laughs> crazy. It was. I just found a private room in Huatulco for about 480 pesos. And the bus is 200 each, so it would be less than 500 pesos to go there instead of almost 900 if we go tomorrow. So we have to find out, should we leave in the next hour and a half and be super rushed? No, or no, no, no. should we spend... We should take them more, like two hours instead. Because the, the, the latest one leaves in two hours and a half. So that will leave us enough time to grab dinner, pack our stuff, check out and go yeah. there. And we would save a little bit of money. We catch the bus, then we went to Watuko for one night. So we got to Watuko, all right. We were so tired last night, we didn't have time to eat dinner. So we ate street food at around midnight. And the next morning, we took a flight to Mexico City, yeah. which was... We an... worked, actually, we worked during the day. But yeah. So we arrived in Motuku at oh, night, true. we worked during the day, and then in the afternoon, closer to the dinner, we left to Mexico City. Yeah. All right, so we just arrived at the Huatulco airport. We passed security and immigration. 
and now we're waiting for our flight at about 7 p.m. to go to uh, Mexico City. spent the night there. Yeah, the it was an night. overnight yeah. layover, yeah. about like 13 hours. Yeah, great. We slept on airport uh, chairs. I don't know, yeah. I don't think we filmed anything because we were so tired. Yeah, I didn't, I, I didn't sleep either. I didn't, yeah. I couldn't sleep. There's like massive lights and it's, I don't know, it's very noisy, yeah. but she covered us. I don't, I don't even know if we have pictures of that. I think we yeah. do. We'll show you on the screen if we yeah. do some, have some. Uh, but she was like, she had like every tank, every piece of clothes on her that she could put, she did. It was, she was so, so cold. cold. Yeah. yeah, the air conditioner in that airport was uh, yeah. so bad. <laughs> so yeah, we slept there and then the next morning we took a flight to Cancun. But uh, turns out we, we realized we could stay two weeks longer in Mexico. So we arrived at Can the Cancun airport and we had to find a place to stay for yeah. the week. So it was, yeah, we found so, an Airbnb yes. <laughs> in the most sketchy neighborhood of yes. Cancun. We don't have some footage of that because we were scared of getting our GoPro out. <laughs> but it will show you the location on the map. And if, I wouldn't say don't go there, but for tourists, there are better places to see. Yeah, let's say we learn from our mistake of not researching the neighborhood. We yeah. only look at the Airbnb and the price and we booked it because it was close to the airport, but there was no ATM, no convenience store. Well, there was one, about 15 minutes walk, but that's yeah. it. There was no grocery store except for like 20 minutes walk. There was no coffee shops, no mm. restaurants, It's nothing. like 15 minutes, it's not like a, just a casual 15 minute walk. It's a 15 minute walk in very sketchy streets where there's like no pavement and it's just, yeah, yeah there's like weird things. The so. security guard at our Airbnb told us not to go out at night. So yeah. we're like, great, so. That's just, yeah, <laughs> cozy. <laughs> so yeah, it was a weird week. We just stayed in our Airbnb for a whole week. And then the next Friday, Matt's dad arrived in Cancun. So we, we took it, we... Um, we drove with him to Tulum. Yeah, exactly. So, and then we spent the week in Tulum. I have, a, we'll show you, we have a little footage of us. We went to Tulum National Park, but there was actually nothing there to see. <laughs> we don't know why. We had to pay for the entrance fee, but we didn't understand what was there to see because we found like a public beach, but it was very small and kind of It was cute. Trash. It was a hidden, like a little hidden beach. It was really pretty. It, it was a, very pretty, but yeah. there's like plastic bottles in the algae, like on the beach everywhere. It's yeah. very, there's a lot of trash there. Yeah, but it was, it was the view was pretty. Yeah, the view was pretty. Yeah. I have footage of that. I'll show mm -hmm. you here. But yeah, so we took it really slow, went to the beach. We went to our favorite west restaurants in Tulum as we went like three months before. Yeah. We already had like our spots that we liked. Yeah. So we went there, ate good food, relaxed. And it arrived like the day of our flight arrived really fast. Yeah. Um, because we were in Tulum, we had to take a bus in the morning at 7 a.m to go to Cancun airport, yeah. which was, it's a, like two hour bus ride. Yeah, it's like 288 pesos, like uh, 18 bucks, a little yeah, bit less than that. Yeah, really cheap and they, they bring you right to the airport. Mm -hmm. uh, and our flight was at 11 a.m. Everything went really smoothly. Uh, we had a layover in Charlotte in the yeah. States because there are still no direct flights from Canada to Mexico. Indeed. Um, a yeah. four hour layover? I was yeah. supposed to, I don't I don't understand, but uh, it was supposed to be a three hour flight from Cancun to Charlotte, but it was a two hour flight instead. So I don't know what happened. Yeah, I think it was Maybe just a faster. Better plane. Than, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And then a four hour layover in Charlotte, we just yeah. ate. Well, a lot of yeah, we found like I, I remember when we arrived in the Charlotte airport, we found the water fountain. Mm. Drink water and love yourself. 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 Mm. And 
after being in Mexico for three months where we can't really drink tap water, yeah. it was like... It was the best thing, wow. yeah, just to get water yeah. for free like this. Yeah, we took our last, last flight. It was our fourth flight to go from Puerto Escondido to Montreal. Yeah, we were pretty far. Yeah, so Charlotte to Montreal, and then it went really smooth. So yeah, that's the whole story of why we're back in Canada. Uh, we have exciting things to do here. Like, I've lived in Quebec City for 23 years. Matt's, I've never lived there. Yeah, yeah, he's never lived there, so it's gonna be new, and I'll rediscover this city with him. So there's a lot of things I want to do, a lot of activities, and we'll film mm. like what we do there. Exactly. Uh, so you might, we might take a little like two or three weeks um, break because we're in quarantine. There's like not well, not much to do here yeah. <laughs> except just like enjoy the and, outdoor. Yeah. Um, and then we, in two weeks, we go to Quebec City. I start working at my new position. Yep. But then, like first weekend, we'll probably explore like the old yeah. Quebec City. We'll, we'll show you footage of that. So. We're gonna bring you some new content, some different content. Yeah. Uh, but, but as I said, for the next four months, we'll probably have a video or two a month tops. Uh, but we'll be active on social media if you want to follow us there. Uh, we're gonna yeah, have some lives for you coming up as well. Um, yeah, it, the, the project is shifting, but we're still staying in the same context. And as soon as we travel again, we'll have another uh, video every week as you expected. Yeah, so we're excited. And what, uh, when we learn about our next destination, we'll be sure to uh, update you guys. But for now, we're just gonna enjoy our time in Quebec and show you all the beautiful things there is to see there. Actually, for the next destination, uh, we might start some polls on social media to, to pick our next destination. Yeah. Uh, just stay tuned, uh, keep an eye out, and, and we'll see you on the next video. See you soon. Thank you so much. Bye.